Good day everyone! Welcome to your online EPP Agriculture class and I will be your teacher, Mr. Robert G. Paduna. And today, our topic is planting and propagating trees and fruit-bearing trees and marketing seedling. Plant propagation is the process of reproducing or creating new plants or seedlings. It is an important part of gardening, whether outdoor or indoor. Plants are living things that grow either through the root, stem, and leaves of their flowers. It is a method of growing new plants from seeds or a part of existing plants. Trees are valuable to the family and to the community for the product and amenities they give such as food, food like fruit, vegetable, nuts, and sugar. Food is one of our basic necessities. We cannot live without food. Wood Wood used as fuel for cooking and heating. Construction materials, which includes lumber, plywood, and board. Fiber, for the production of pulp and paper. Chemical products, such as resin, rubber, and turpentine. There are also some benefits that we can get from the trees. 1. They provide shade and fresh air around the house and along the street and surroundings. Trees are very much needed by people in this time of climate change. When the temperature is high and the heat of the sun becomes intense, without trees, there are no shade to keep us cool. 2. They protect the soil from erosion. Have you seen big roots that extend several meters from the trunk or go deeper into the soil? These roots hold the soil, preventing it from eroding when the rain or flood come. 3. They help maintain a high-quality water supply. The roots of the plant and trees help drain the dirt and cleanse the water as it passes through the roots. 4. The root system promotes soil stability. This means that the soil helps by the roots remain there and does not erode. 5. They serve as valuable wildlife habitat. Wild animals live in places with there are many trees like that of a forest. 6. They serve as windbreakers during typhoon and storm, thus reducing the damage of home and crops. A strong typhoon usually moves at a very fast speed. It continues to be that strong if there are no barriers on the path where it moves. But when it passes through barriers like mountain and trees, it slows down and the speed reduces. Small crops and plants as well as houses are safe when a typhoon is weak. 7. They help reduce pollution in congested urban areas. 8. They contribute to the beautiful landscape in the city and in the countryside. Imagine a land with plenty of trees and grass, and a scattering of flowers of beautiful color, sizes, and shapes. 9. They improve the atmosphere of the place by giving a feeling of freshness and coolness as they reduce the temperature. 10. They prevent river and lake sedimentation. Have you observed a river bank that is lined endlessly with the full grown trees? These trees help hold the water in the lake and rivers and keep it there. This prevents the lake and rivers from drying up. 11. They prevent floods. Flood occurs when water from rain rushes in causing soil erosion. However, if there are trees to serve as barriers, and the roots to hold the water, a flood will not occur. Now, here are the trees and fruit bearing trees that one can plant. Some of the common trees planted in both rural and urban areas are the following Nara. It is a large deciduous tree growing to 30 to 40 meters tall, with a trunk up to 2 meters in diameter. The leaves are 12 to 22 centimeters long, pinnate with 5 to 11 leaflets and greed is 12 to 34 meter in wide. The flowers are produced in pinnacle, 6 to 13 centimeter long, containing a few numerous flowers. Flowering is from February to May in the Philippines and it's also known as the Philippine National Tree. Acacia is a large genus of shrub. It comprises a group of plant species native to Africa and Austria with the first species. Palm tree, a botanical family of perennial plants. Their growth form can be climber, shrub, 
trees and stemless plants are all commonly known as PAMs. They are flowering plant. Pine tree is any conifers in the genus Pinus of the family Pinaceae. Mahogany is a species native in southern Florida in the United States and the island in the Caribbean including the Bahamas, Cuba, Barbados, Jamaica, Dominican Republic, and Haiti. Some of the common fruit-bearing trees are the following. Buhat tree. The Java palm or black palm is a large evergreen and exotic tree. It is popularly known as Duhat in the Philippines. Mango tree. Our juice is stone fruit from numerous species of tropical trees belonging to the flowering plants genus Mangafera, cultivated mostly of their edible fruits. The majority of these species are found in nature as wild mangoes. Santol tree is a fast growing straight trunk fail bark tree for about 50 to 150 feet tall. Addis tree also known as sugar apple, a species of small trees or shrub native to the tropical areas of the Americas. Seed germination is the primary means of growing new addis tree. Guava trees grow in small trees with a wide short canopy and a sturdy single to a multiple stem trunk. It also produces white flowers that yield to small round oval or pearl shaped fruits. Banana tree is an edible fruit botanically and very produced by several kinds of large herbaceous flowering plants in the genus Musa. Now that we know the different fruit and fruit bearing trees that grow in the Philippines, it is now time to learn on how to market the seedlings. Marketing seedling is one of the biggest challenge in orchard gardening. One of its significant step is to ensure that the product is ready for market. So, it needs to come with a specific standard for analyzing and ensuring quality control. Sir, what are the characteristics of marketable seedlings? Marketable seedlings must have strong, thick, and healthy stem. Each seedlings have five or more leaves and establish a healthy root system to defend themselves against other plants for sunrise, space to grow, and essential nutrients. And now, here are the list of some successful orchard growers in the Philippines. Mama, don't stress your mind. We come.